Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? I am going to uh, do a reading for Gemini. I am super late doing this. I am so sorry. My bad. I should have gotten around to it by now. No excuses. I'm just a bum. What can I say? Today is um, Thursday, June 13th, 2019. This is a reading for Gemini. If your birth date falls between uh, May 21st and June the 20th, you're a Gemini. Also, if you have a family member that's a Gemini, um, this might help you understand them a little bit. Just keep watching, okay? So, Gemini, this is my gift to you. Happy birthday. This is what's um, this is what's going on right now with you and in the very near future, okay? So, I'm reading the energy that's going on now and the very near future. And I think, uh, I feel like Gemini is in a funk right now. So, if you're feeling that away, you're in uh, good company, <laughs> okay? There's a lot of people feeling that way. So, I think Gemini is just in a little bit of a funk. And, you know, Gemini, they're known for that split personality or twin personality. I have quite a few Geminis around me and my family. My husband's a Gemini. I have a granddaughter and a grandson that are Geminis. So, I know a little bit about Geminis. I've had to deal with them. And, you know, they're, they're sweet, wonderful people. They really are. I love them so much. And Geminis are, they're wonderful people. They, but they can flip a switch. <laughs> and if you, um, if you get, you know, make them flip that switch or do something wrong or whatever, watch out. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You know, so you really don't want them to flip on you. You really don't. But when they're in a good mood and everything's going great, Geminis are a lot of fun. They really are. They're very, very charming. Um, you know, they're just like the life of the party, really. I think that's what I want to say. They're just wonderful people. Um, probably a lot more fun if you don't live with them. <laughs> <laughs> from my own experience, you know what I mean? Because they are fun and people are drawn to Geminis. Geminis like to be, you know, the center of attention and they're very good listeners. They give good advice. So they're a lot of fun. And, and like I said, people are really drawn to them. But if you have to live with them, you get to see the flip side of that. And that's not always a whole lot of fun, right? Y'all know I, I, I say this with all kindness because I love my husband to death and my grandkids. So anyway, and they have a great sense of humor, great sense of humor, very funny in ways that can't be explained. You know, if you know a Gemini and Gemini, you know yourself, you guys have the funniest, funniest humor that y'all y'all say things that can't be repeated. <laughs> You just have to experience it, you know. You really do. They're they're funny. They're funny people. But sometimes you just can't you can't repeat what they say. At least I can't. <laughs> and they are just natural flirters. They don't even realize they're flirting because they're naturally just intimate people. And you know that intimacy it borderlines on flirting and they don't even notice it you know that's just their personality that's just who they are so they're just natural born flirters and you guys that are have spouses or boyfriend girlfriends that are Gemini's you know what I'm talking about right because they can just start talking 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 you know and you'll never get bored around a Gemini because they're always seeking some kind of stimulation, you know. They got to be doing something all the time. I mean, really. And I'm going to use this analogy, and I don't mean that they're dogs at all. Not at all. But I'm just going to say, you know, like when you you have a dog and they're very, very smart. And if you don't, you know, if you let them get bored, they'll just be destructive and tear something up. So that's how a Gemini is, you know. You've got to be doing something with them all the time. If they get bored, it could be very destructive. <laughs> but they they really, really love to help people. They like to be of service. And uh, they're, like I said, they're very good at giving advice. Not that great at taking advice, but very good at giving advice. Also, Geminis uh, from time to time need to be redirected because uh, you have to make sure that they finish what they start. Because you guys know, 
if you get bored with something and you started it, you're just going to walk away, right? You'll walk away and, you know, that project is sitting in the garage for months and months and months. So you might have to prod a Gemini to finish up what they start, okay? A little bit of prodding. Um, oh, and going shopping with a Gemini. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you make up your mind for goodness sake? They are really, uh, um, I don't know what the process is that y'all go through to make a decision, but I think, you know, y'all are, y'all don't make quick decisions. Put it that way. You really, you're looking at stuff and thinking about things. You think it all the way through and, you know, I think you just have a hard time making up your mind. You just want to make sure, I guess, that you, you're getting the right thing or doing the right thing or whatever. But if you're with a Gemini, you got to have a lot of patience because they're, you know, that's just the way they are, but they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Uh, Gemini's, um, when they're worried, anxious about something, they can just make themselves sick. And I feel like uh, maybe there's something like that going on with the Gemini's right now. They're just uh, in a in a funk. Like I said, they're just in a funk right now, kind of anxious and worried. You know, but you guys, y'all need to, you know, lighten up a little bit, really. You don't want to give yourself a darn heart attack, okay? So, y'all chill out, chill out, you know? I I, I think, you know, you, you just need to learn to, uh, learn to do a little bit of the law of attraction and manifest what you want in a more timely manner. That's what I would say, you know, so you don't have to suffer for so long because, in my experience, you can manifest what you want, and uh, you know, you really can. You you have to learn how to do it, but you can do it. So, anyway, you don't want uh, everyone to suffer with you, or maybe you do. <laughs> but I think right now, Gemini's, like I said, they're they're going through a little bit of a funk right now. Um, but uh, you can uh, just know everything passes. Everything will pass, and things are changing. So. All Geminis are very fun, intelligent, charming, unpredictable people <laughs> that you can't help but love. You know, they really are. They're compatible with Aries, uh, Leo, Libra, Aquarius. That's the ones that they're known, you know, they say they're more compatible with. My daughter is an Aries uh, and my husband and her are in business together. And let me tell you, they fight like an old married couple. <laughs> and they say they're supposed to be very compatible, but they fight horribly. They do love each other and get along, but man, whew, I have to walk away sometimes, you know? I really do. Um, I'm a Taurus, so for me, it's like I like things very stable, no surprises. I want to know uh, where we're going, what we're doing. You know, I want to make a list beforehand. <laughs> And my Gemini husband, he just likes to be spontaneous, you know, let's pack up the car and take a road trip. He never, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't like to make plans. So I don't know, are, do you feel like you're like that too, Gemini's? You just like to be spontaneous, you know, if my husband always says, if I make a plan, it's going to get screwed up. So we're just going to, you know, I'll let you know when we're leaving. <laughs> That's how he tells me all the time. As a matter of fact, this Saturday, we're supposed to um, go out of town. And I said, are we going to go or we aren't going to go? And he's like, I'll let you know later. It's Thursday, but he's not sure if we're leaving or not. <laughs> and also, Gemini's have a lot of trouble, like I said, making up their minds. Ask them what they want to eat. Oh, my gosh. When you finally both agree on something and you think you're going to eat that Mexican food, and all of a sudden you're turning into a Chinese restaurant. You're like, what the heck? Because Gemini's change their mind like this. I mean, like that. Your mouth is all ready for that Mexican food. You know, when your spouse is saying, oh, no, I changed my mind. We're going to have Chinese food. <laughs> That's how it is living with the Gemini. They're like that. They're switch it off and on all the time. You know, but it, it's interesting and fun when you when you learn to accept their, you know, personality. It's a lot of fun. So, you know, you can get your Mexican food later. Don't worry. Okay. So, um, some famous Geminis. Yeah, look, 
Yes, Trump is a Gemini. It's, his birthday's coming up here. It's in a is it today or tomorrow? I don't know. Pretty soon. I, I heard it on the news. So. Trump is a Gemini. Wouldn't you know that? You could just figure that out. That answers a lot of questions, doesn't it? Uh, Clint Eastwood, Angelina Jolie, um, Kanye West, Mike Myers, Johnny Depp, Morgan Freeman, Paul McCartney, Heidi Klum, Nicole Kidman. I wouldn't even have thought she was. She seems so calm. <laughs> You know, Neil Patrick Harris, Blake Shelton, Blake Shelton. Yeah, you can tell he's he's a Gemini. He's a big old flirt, huh? Uh, Venus Williams, she is. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Michael J. Fox, Tim Allen. Love Tim Allen. Amy Schumer, she's so funny. Lionel Richie, Dr. Oz. How about that? Dr. Oz is a Gemini. He covers that up really well. <laughs> uh, Liam Leeson. He is Octavia Spencer. She's a Gemini. And there's so many more. There's a whole bunch more, y'all. But that's the ones that um, I looked up and the ones I related to. So I was just going to tell y'all. I thought it was interesting. Okay, guys. So now that we've got that um, all done, let's go to the cards and see what's going on here. Like I said, this is for the energy surrounding you now, Gemini. And in the very near future. So I would say within the next couple of months. Okay. All right. First card that you get is the King of Cups. Yeah. So again, I'm going to tell you, you need to chill out. That's what this is. Um, get your emotions in check. You know, get them in check. Don't be going off the deep end. Don't be screaming at people. And also don't be crying and getting too emotional. This is all about balance, balance, balance. Everything will pass, guys. Everything's going to pass. Everything's going to be okay. Things are going to keep getting better and better and better. I know you're going through a funky time right now, but keep that positive uh, mantra in your head. Things are going to get better. This is passing, okay? All right, crossing over that card is the Two of Pentacles. Uh, this is about keeping everything balanced, as you can see here. For some of you, you're trying to balance out your finances. Um, you want to, you're just trying to make that paycheck stretch, you know, from one week to the next or the two weeks. You know, there's only so much a one person can do, really. There really is. So, you know, you're doing the best you can, and that's all that you should expect out of yourself. Okay? So don't be hard on yourself. Also, there's, there's others that are just trying to do too much. This is about balancing so many things at once. You guys, you got so many things going on. You need to really whittle that list down a little bit and concentrate on, you know, two or three of important things that are really, really important. And let some of this other stuff slide, you know. Let it slide. It'll be okay. And remember, things are going to get better. They're going to get better, so... All right, overlooking your situation, the next card is the Two of Swords. Stop avoiding this decision that you need to make. That's what this is about. When we see the Two Swords, it's a decision. It's deciding one or the other. Uh, just because you're ignoring it doesn't make it go away. Deal with it. You'll be happy that you did. And you won't have to worry about it anymore, okay? You won't have all that anxiety over it. The foundation of your situation here is the magician. And just like I said, things are going to get better. You're strong, you're resourceful, and you got some skills. Uh, you have the ability to make everything that you want go in your favor, and you can do it. So go for it, okay? Don't hold back. Don't be fearful. Go for it. You'll be successful. All right, this is your past position. This is the Ace of Swords. Um, this is probably a recent past, not too far back. This is an opportunity that you may have passed on, or maybe you feel like it slipped through your fingers. You didn't act on it. It's your, you know, you're feeling like you woulda, coulda, shoulda kind of thing. Let it go. Leave it in the past. Don't worry about it. Move forward. Okay? That was an experience. Let it go. That's your experience. Chalk it up to experience and move forward. Okay? Let it go. 
Your future position card is the Ten of Wands. So you're going to be taking on more responsibilities in the near future. Uh, for some of you, this can be a new job. For others, this could be like a promotion where you're at or more responsibilities at work. Hopefully that will mean more money too, you know. So this is just going to require more responsibility out of you. That's what this means. Also, for some of you, you're going to have more responsibilities now because your children are home from school <laughs> and they're going to be demanding your time and energy, you know, and uh, just know that there are many things that children can help you with, you know, ask for help. Even small children can put away their toys, can fold their clothes and put dishes in the dishwasher. So no matter where you're at and you're feeling like you have so much burden on you and so much responsibility, ask for help and it will be given. Okay, that's what you got to do. You'll be you'll be feeling, you know, much better when you ask for somebody to help you in your workplace, in your home, wherever. There are people around you that want to help you, will help you, that care about you and want to see you succeed. Okay. All right, now this is your state of mind card. This is the tower. Oh my gosh. So like I said, you guys are feeling funky. So you're, you feel like your world is just turning upside down. Y'all are going through a funk, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're just, you're feeling anxious and nervous and just, you know, you need to calm down. Go watch a relaxing video. Go watch something on YouTube that something you're drawn to. Go watch it and relax, relax, watch a relaxing movie, watch a funny movie. Get yourself out of that funk. OK, get yourself out of this feeling. This is just your feeling. That doesn't mean that disaster is hitting your life. You're just feeling that away. OK, everything's going to be OK. I like to watch Jake Ducey. He's awesome. He's so positive and he'll teach you how to quickly manifest your dreams. So if you want something positive to watch, go on uh, YouTube and watch Jake Ducey. That's what I do. And he, I watch him every morning. I love him. I love him. And his videos are getting better and better. He's getting better at putting them out. And uh, Go watch him and see. And it'll change how you feel. Okay? And you can do some of the things that he teaches. And you'll, you'll see how different you feel. Okay, next card is the uh, Page of Wands. This is the eighth card. Like I said, <laughs> you've been in a bit of a funk. I keep saying that, but the good news here, there's good news coming. So you're going to find out something that's awesome, that's great. It's going to change everything, and you're going to get back to your fun-loving Gemini self, okay? So good news is coming. Be on the lookout for that. You're going you're gonna to find something out that's going to change the way you feel. It's going to be good. All right. This is a three of pentacles. This is in your hopes and fears position. Uh, this is collaborating, working with us, uh, others. This could be like, this could be a project that you're working on at work, or, you know, you may have your own business, but you need the help of these other people. These people have a service um, that you're, that you need. You can't do it yourself. So you're going to have to rely on them to complete this project. Uh, for some of you guys, this means that uh, you'll be studying and learning something new. This could mean that that new job that you want or that promotion that you're getting will require you to learn some new skills. So uh, you may have to attend some training for that new position that you're going to. OK. And also, um, this is overcoming all challenges. So it's good. It's all good, you guys. You're going to overcome any challenges. Everything's going to work out just fine. Good, good. Okay, here's your outcome card. This looks good. I like seeing this. This is the Two of Cups. This is a partnership card. So for, for some of you, this literally means a loving, balanced relationship with your partner that's ready to go to the next level. That's for some of you guys. For the others, this can be a business partnership that has mutual respect and a strong, successful business. So it's all a good omen card. Uh, for everybody, this is a good indication that everything is coming back into balance. 
including your finances. So everything is going to come back into balance. So no matter what, this is a good outcome for everyone. Even if you don't have a business or a new partner or anything, this is just everything coming into balance for the good of all. Okay. All right, guys, there's your reading. I am so sorry that it was late. I'm terrible about this. Imagine if I had to do one for all of 12 Zodiacs every month. Some people do that. I don't know how they do it. I could not do it. I couldn't do it. I'm not that um, good at getting all of my videos out on time. So, But uh, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, I have a summer special going on right now. Uh, 10 card Celtic cross. Uh, you'll get a couple more things with, it'll be a reading like this, a little, probably a little bit more detailed um, and an angel card to go with it. Okay. And it's $25 for the summer. And I, I've been super busy. So it may be, um, I used, I would try to do it within 24 hours of payment, but I'm going to say now it'll probably be like 48 hours of payment. So, and it's a video, just like you just saw, I, I videotape it and send it to you private video, of course. Okay, so if you would like to get a reading with me, it's Trudy Lee Tarot at hotmail.com. Okay. All right, guys, I look forward to hearing from you. If you like my videos, hit the like. And if you uh, want to be a subscriber, hit the subscriber. Whoops, my phone's going off. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Bye for now. Y'all take care.